Okay folks, it's Twizzy break time. I've having problems with my caliper sticking so I can't find any information on the internet how to do it so here we go. You'll see there's two Allen headed screws on the side of the caliper but it looks of it you've got to remove these two screws and they in turn are holding the brake pads into position. Right. I've unscrewed it all the way out. There it is. That's what it looks like. Just got one more to do. Next, you have to undo two screws that hold the caliper on to the bracket. That I've already taken the screws out from the back with a 12mm socket. So just now remove the caliper. Oof. Right, the pads are still held in with this 6mm screw. This comes all the way off. Once you remove that screw, then the pad should just come out easily. And that's what they look like. As you can see, not much left. That's what the caliper looks like with the pads removed. Also notice how badly corroded the piston is, so I'm going to pop that piston out, clean it up and put it back in. So once you've removed the pads, that's the parts you should have. Two pins, two pads, one nut at the top and two bolts on the right hand side for holding the caliper onto the car. I've now went ahead and removed the caliper carrier by undoing this nut here. Once you unscrew that, the carrier comes off. That's the carrier off and should be left with the caliper it looks like this. And look at the state of the piston. Now I've pressed the pedal a few times just to pop the piston out a bit and I'll try and clean that up. As it is, alternatively I've got to pop the piston right out altogether and clean it. We'll try this first. Okay, I've cleaned the piston up as best I can and what I'll do now is take the brake um, reservoir cap off and then I'll squeeze that piston back in with a G-clamp. If I don't take the cap off the reservoir then I'll burst the reservoir, so that's what I'm going to do next. And if it goes in easy it means all is well, but if it's quite stiff I'll need to pop the piston right out and give it a thorough clean inside the caliper. Okay, there's a brake fluid reservoir located under the front. So just remove that. Okay folks, I couldn't get the piston back in the caliper so I've clamped off the hose and undone the caliper completely. Here's the caliper with the piston popped out. Okay, now I've cleaned it up and you can see I can push it out the Allen key, push it back in my fingers. The piston, that means it's nice and free. Also, there's a, a shim that goes inside the caliper. And that's to hold the brake pads in. Couldn't see it because of the dirt. Just watch when you're putting this part back on that it isn't a, a circle, it's a D shape. And it goes on to a corresponding 
part on there. Okay, once you've got the caliper mounting bracket on, put the first brake pad in. Like so. The second one's a little trickier. You've got to put it in and then put the nut on. So, put it in. Like that. And then try and get the nut on. See it better like that. Lastly, we've got to get the two pins in. You've got to hold it down because it's spring loaded and push the pin in. See the next one. Push the pad down. Get the spring. In. Yeah, it's a brake caliper, ready to go back on. Now I just need to screw the caliper back on. Once the caliper's back on, make sure you finally tighten all the bolts and then finally bleed it. I've just loosened the bleeding nipple and letting gravity do the work for me. I'll probably pump the pedal a couple of times just to clear any air bubbles and that should be it.